Um, if you're still thinking about it, we do have ebooks available as well, so I'll show you how to get to those. Um, later on, we'll kind of talk about navigating the Keys Library databases to find articles. That'll be part, that'll be later in your um, course that we'll get into that, but that's listed here as well. Uh, review information literacy concepts from first year experience. So again, that'll be later, and then get help with writing, citing, and uh, research when you need it. That'll be later as well. So let's click on virtual poetry book fair. Da, da, da. I keep asking for like a trumpet or like a drum set or something, like pom-poms when we go to these different tabs because they're so exciting. All right, so again, we have a bunch of these books all pulled out for you on display, and they'll be divided up by what we consider movements or schools. So we have um, beat poets, we have black arts poets, we have um, modernist poets, romantic poets. Then we also just have assorted poets. Again, a poet may belong to you know more than one genre, more than one topic, but we kind of divided them up by those schools. All right, so on this page, we have some audio poems of the day. If you click on these, it'll open it up from the Poetry Foundation. These are fun just to look through. Again, if you're not sure what poet you're interested in, this is a good place to start. Let's go back. We also have a poem written out. Children's section. So I've been interested in Sylvia Plath since I was in eighth grade, and I just want to know more about her. And Sylvia Plath, right? Yes. Cool. And so you got a book that maybe you'll take out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, my turn. So, I'm not really big on poetry, haven't read much, and I'm trying to find a smaller poet so I can learn more about it instead of all the popular and all the big poets, because I think they could be a little basic. So, lesser known is one of your goals, right? Yes. You know, educate yourself. It's a great, great spirit. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Here is Jake, and Jake. Who, who are you thinking of focusing on? What have you found? Um, I'm thinking about Billy Collins as my poet to research. And um, let's see that cover. Cover's nice. Nice bear on it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I learned already that he's a humor poet about his life. So looking into diving into that part of his poets. That's great. Well, maybe your, your first one can be Billy Collins, and then you could do a, a second one on poets, on a movement, like you're my poets. It's not a, a movement, but it's a class. Like a genre type? A genre. You got it. Yeah, I should have that word. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Jake. Here's Michael, one of our notable poets. And it, Michael, who are you thinking of focusing on? Uh, right now, I'm, I'm thinking about Langston Hughes and learning about him in the Harlem Renaissance and how it changed poetry and how we think about how, how we think about, about poems today. Beautiful. And you found you found a nice collection. Excellent. Do you, do you know of any of his particular poems? Um, um, I don't know anything. There's one called The Negro Speaks of Rivers. It's a famous one. And uh, there are many others. Enjoy your discoveries. So here we have Erica, who uh, said she's interested in Mary Oliver. But I don't recall what initially got you interested in Mary Oliver. Um, so for the project that we have, I was looking through a bunch of poets. And when I found some of her work, it really stood out to me. So it wasn't hard to look her up a little bit more. Super. There were great videos of her reading her work on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I saw some of them. Very oh, good. And you found, is, is that a collection? Yeah, it's called Devotions. Beautiful. Well. Enjoy. So that's for your first topic. Your second one might be, do you have a second poet or a movement in mind? Um, I was thinking about Shel Silverstein, but they're totally different. Like that's all right. Ones. Different is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Erica. Thank well, here you. we have Jessica Richmond, librarian here at the Keese Library in Gwynedd Mercy University. And Jessica, you've put together this magnificent display. I'll just pan around uh, contemporary poets, beat poets, Romantic poets, humorous poets. How do you do it all? Oh, it's it's so much fun. Looking up different poets that we have in the collection, then adding more poets as we come across them. It's been awesome. Paging through them myself as I pull them off the shelves, getting them ready for the students, letting them know that a poet might be in more than one movement school. It's just all so much fun. I love seeing the students actually page through. I've seen a couple of students who mentioned a different poet that they were initially interested in, and then as they saw some of the books, oh. some of the covers, they actually started picking up some others. 
So it's just a great opportunity for them to hold a book, see a book. Yeah, the physical, talk a little bit about the physical aspects of, of being a librarian. Absolutely, yeah. So especially poetry, how it's laid out on the page is so important and it makes such an impact. It's so powerful when you're reading it and students may not know that until they actually pick up the book and start to page through it. And it's just, it's just kind of magical to see them do that. So it's really exciting. Some of them even include illustrations, not just the children's books. So that's exciting for them to discover as well. So it's just all around a highlight of the semester for sure. So you did something like this last, last semester but I, I see that you've built on it. So how do you build on something so good? Oh, well, recommendations. Um, you had mentioned that we should have the Montgomery County Poet Laureate, so we added that to the collection. Mm -hmm. Seeing what the students are interested in, even just the format, the size of the book, the covers, um, that helps us to think about how we're gonna move forward and purchase more books for the collection um, based on what they're attracted to. So it's so much fun. Super. And I'm going to ask you to bring out the William Blake uh, facsimile book. You have that here somewhere, don't you? I'm not sure. I'd ask, I think you bought it at my request. Okay. So anyhow, awesome. thanks a lot. She Thank just you. gave a great chat. The students seem to enjoy themselves here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jessica.